Looking closely to the numbers, I know that you can see the pattern. Simple as adding two consecutive numbers makes up the next number. Say for example, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is the third number. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 which is the fourth number. And 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 which is the fifth one. And the pattern continues, so on and so forth. Now, what do you call these numbers? That is called the Fibonacci numbers, also known as the Fibonacci sequence. Mathematics is the science of patterns. And we study mathematics to think logically, critically, and creatively. However, too much of it don't always turn out to be effectively motivating, no? So, couldn't we just study math because it's, it's, it's beautiful fun. or it excites the mind? But I know not everyone think about math that way. So, let me share to you something amazing about mathematics. This is one of my favorite topics in mathematics in the modern world, which is the Fibonacci sequence. The sequence was first described by the mathematicians of India 1300 years ago and was first introduced in the West by Leonardo of Pisa in 1202, which is also known as Fibonacci. The sequence goes like this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on and so forth. So that is the sequence, which is made up by adding two consecutive numbers to create the next number. Now, these numbers can be appreciated in many ways. Say, for example, we have um, the nature, okay? So Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci numbers surprisingly appear so often in nature. So here is a clip to show to you to prove that Fibonacci numbers really exist in nature.
amazing? Or isn't it surprising? I know na amaze mo. Bari hasrata. Na amaze po ko, no? Na pinaagi lang anang mga petals sa flowers. Wala lang ta nakabalong uh, Fibonacci numbers sa dinanaasya. And not just flowers. Say for example, kana ang mga uh, the patterns sa pine cone. No? Kana ang mga shell. Um, kana ang mga mata sa pinya. No? So, that also adds up to a Fibonacci number. Okay? So, we tend to spend a lot of time for calculation. But let us not forget about application and most especially the appreciation. So with that, I would like to leave a quote that says, Mathematics is not just about solving for X, but it's also figuring out why. Thank you and good day.